In this series of videos, we've been talking about relevant costs for short-term decision-making. In this video, we're going to look at what's called a make-or-buy decision. In a make-or-buy decision, the company is, is saying, should we buy a product from somebody else or can we make it ourselves for cheaper? And that's the debate that goes on. So let's read the question and I think you'll get the feeling. Snazzy Jazzy Footwear manufactures a variety of athletic shoes. The company has always produced all necessary parts for its shoes, including the laces. An outside supplier is offered to produce and sell laces to Snazzy Jazzy Footwear at a cost of 20 cents per lace. To evaluate this offer, Snazzy Jazzy Footwear has gathered the following information relating to its own cost of producing laces internally. So this company makes shoes. They make all parts of the shoe, including the shoelace, and now they're thinking, well, maybe we should buy our shoelace from somebody else and maybe they can do it cheaper. So they put together this list and they say, oh, look, our cost is 24 cents. Uh, so compared to their cost, which is 20 cents, eh, maybe I should buy, all right? Maybe I should buy it. If the cost to make it for me is 24, they can do it cheaper. Maybe my choice is, is to buy. Um, Anyway, the, the costs include material, labor, variable overhead, fixed overhead traceable, and fixed overhead allocated. Uh, it says one-third of the traceable fixed overhead. Well, what do we think we mean by traceable? Traceable means that relates directly to making shoelaces. So there's three cents or $780 of, of overhead that relates directly to making shoelaces. The other six or fifteen sixty is just company overhead, and this is the the shoelace division's share of that overhead. So one third of the traceable fixed overhead relates to supervisor salaries. The supervisor would be fired if Snazzy Jazzy uh, chose to purchase from an outside supplier. Two thirds of the traceable fixed overhead relates to depreciation of lace making equipment that has no resale value. Okay, so one third of this is absolutely relevant, right? The cost will be different. Again, if we make we will have this person working for us. If we buy, we will not. Uh, but the two-thirds uh, related to the depreciation of equipment that has no resale value, it's not relevant either way. If I get rid of the division, I've still got this equipment sitting there that's got no resale, so it's not relevant. So I think our decision is clear, or not our decision, but our steps to our decision. we got to figure out, should we make or should we buy? The way I like to analyze this is I just like to go, okay, make versus buy. Now the cost to buy, well, oh, <laughs> the cost to buy is uh, going to be 20 cents if I buy. If I make, the cost to buy is zero. I'm not buying. So that's the difference. Uh, now let's look at the relevant costs. We've got Let's go down our list. We've got material, which are six cents a unit. Now, if I make, I pay six cents a unit. If I buy, I don't pay anything in raw materials because I'm not making them, right? I don't need to buy the whatever the fabric that goes into laces because I don't need any laces. So there's going to be no direct materials cost. So absolutely, that's a relevant cost. Direct materials of uh, six cents. Direct labor of seven cents. Yeah, if I make. I need to have a uh, labor working on laces, a laborer working on laces. If I buy, there's no such uh, cost for me. Uh, variable overhead, variable costs, general rule of thumb are relevant, and certainly it is here. If I make, I have this overhead. If I buy, well, then there's no variable overhead because I'm not making anything. And that was, I think, two cents. Uh, fixed overhead, traceable. Let's see if I make uh, or if I buy, I don't have any. Or well, let's actually take a look at this. One third of the traceable fixed overhead relates to supervisory salary. So that's one cent of my traceable uh, fixed overhead relates to supervisor salaries. Supervisor would be fired if Snazzy Jazzy uh, chose an outside supplier. Two thirds. Uh, of the traceable overhead relates to depreciation of lace making equipment and has no resale value. So two cents of that three cents is absolutely not relevant. One cent is. One cent means it's different between the alternatives. The guy either, you know, I pay him or I don't. Two thirds though, not relevant. So the one cent of this is relevant to my decision. Um, 
fixed overhead allocated, allocated fixed costs almost never going to be relevant unless there's something in the description that says it is. But an allocated fixed cost is a company-wide fixed cost and it's just our share of it. The company-wide fixed costs we assume aren't going to change as a result of dropping this division, not relevant. So I'm not even going to include it on my list. Oops. So my total relevant cost here, 13, it's 16 cents versus 20 cents. Obviously, I am four cents per lace better to make. Now, four cents per lace, but let's figure out the overall advantage. Four cents per lace times 26,000 laces. So we're 1040. better off to make versus buy. Again, we're going to uh, make 26,000 laces. We're four cents per lace better off. So that means we're $1,040 better off to make versus buy. Now, part two of this question is a good part. And often students make mistakes when I test on this. Let's read it. Suppose that if the laces were purchased, the company could use free capacity to make a new product. The segment margin of the new product is expected to be $1,000 per year. Should the company accept the offer to buy the laces at $0.20 cents per lace? Now, let's be clear about this. We have, uh, we're going to stop making laces, but we're going to use that space, and we're going to use that space to do something that, that puts $1,000 in our pocket. Should we make or should we buy? Well, this is actually really easy. People can make it really hard, but here's the easy answer. Make is 1040 better than buy. Now, with this alternative, buy just got $1,000 better, right? $1,000 in segment margin, so it's $1,000 better. So even if buy improves by $1,000, make we save 1040. So even if I compare the two, I go, okay, make I save 1040, buy it's $1,000 better than I thought, so make is still $40 better, right? So I have this 1040 in savings to make, I have an opportunity cost now that I hadn't considered before, which is $1,000, but I'm still $40 better off to make. Now, if my opportunity cost was $1,500, I would have been better off to buy. Uh, but that opportunity cost wasn't in play at the beginning. So this $1,000 opportunity cost means I'm still better off to make. Advantage to make. All right. So that's part B of the question. Part A of the question, I'll make versus buy. I just summarize my relevant cost. I determine which is better, make or buy. And in this case, make was better. That's it for this uh, video. In the next, I think we're going to take on a special order decision.